What's happening, Internet? Current 1776 coming back at you with another Battle Box Breakdown. I got Mission 67 right here, and I'm telling you, there's some stuff in here that I teased earlier in the month. A lot of you are going to be really freaking stoked at what we got in this little box right here. Also, some more changes. You know, I, last month I was like, man, I don't know what to call this new booklet. Well, we got a new name for it, and I'm going to share that with you, and we even did some more changes on it. It's going to be pretty freaking sweet. I'll explain that to you here in a minute. First, let's see what's inside. Hey. <laughs> Roll the logo. Yeah. All right. So, Mission 67. The collective minds have got together, looked at everybody's comments. We decided to go with Mission Brief. You can see here, it says Battle Box, Mission Brief. That fella right there is having him an adventure. See what's inside the booklet here. First page, we got a little write up paragraph about what's in the box. But if you look down here at the bottom, we've got some icons right here. So, a while ago, we, we published the Survival 13 on the website. Uh, you can read about that in the article section on our website if you go to battlebox.com. But the Survival 13 is kind of, you know, our spin on 13 essential keys to survival. So we've got 13 icons here that represent each of those. When you look at an item, it's going to correlate to one of these icons and where it fits into the Survival 13. So that's what that is there. So you're going to see, see this for now on, and I'm even going to pop these little rascals up on the screen here for each item as I talk about it. On the next page, we got our basic advanced and pro box write-ups for each item, what they're useful for, yada, 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 where they're at in the subscription levels. And then we flip it over to the Pro Plus, and then we've got Southern Survival TV show. You can scan that and watch that. And then on the back, we've got more t-shirts to give away that I'll fill you in with later, all right? So let's get into the mission brief. All right, so starting off in the basic box, we've got something for self-defense, okay? Here's a self-defense icon. <laughs> Somewhere. I don't know where I just put it because I haven't edited this yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll take four takes. Do one here, one here. <laughs> we won't just chase it around until it figures out where it wants to be. So the BattleTac concealment holster. So having a place where you can conceal a weapon where it's readily available is a plus, right? I mean, you know, you just that, that's the whole point, right? This thing right here is pretty freaking slick. Under the desk is kind of under a desk or some sort of surface is is kind of you know the the idea behind this. Here it is right here. We've got a sticker in there for you. Comes with some screws so that you can mount it wherever you want to mount it. Nice and flat as you can see. You've got it's it's a it's a real tough like rubber material right here. So it's going to somewhat conform if it needs to, but you've got some grommet holes here so that you can screw this down to the bottom up underneath a desk, countertop, headboard of your bed, backside of a door, a wall, inside a console or your pickup truck if you wanted to. You've got this elastic here. So that, time out, I'm gonna get in the mystery spot. We got us a little pew pew. It's not a real one, obviously, right? Don't anybody be freaking about freaking out about gun safety and you know I'm sweeping my body across the muzzle and all that crap. Here we go. An orange fake gun. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> All right. It simply slides in like so. So that could be, you know, under your desk, if you will. So you're under your desk, something happens where you need to access your pistol, you can access your pistol. Will it hold a revolver? I've got a fake revolver right here. Yes, it'll hold a revolver as well. Again, this is fake. I'm not sweeping my body with something dangerous. Spare me, folks, please. That also fits into it rather nicely. How about that? If you want to try to run your shotgun up in there, I guess you can try it. I don't think it's going to work, but great for pistols and things like that. But also, you can conceal other things with this. Shove a wallet in there. So if you want to hide your wallet and some cash underneath your desk, you can do that as well. Cell phone, you need to take the cell phone from the kids because they're on it too much and stash it away where they don't know where it is. You can stash it in this. Flashlights, couple knives, whatever. Obviously, it's designed for handguns. You use it for whatever you want to use it for. So that is the first item in the basic box, the BattleTac concealment holster. 
So next up in the basic box, we've got the Grenade Soap Co. Microfiber Travel Towel Companion thing right here. It's freaking awesome. There's like 500 words describing it right here. With a storage bag. <laughs> it's got a storage bag to go with it. How y'all like that noise? What was it? A ASMR videos? Yeah. Is that what it? I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, so we got the Grenade Soap Co. Microfiber Towel uh, Travel Towel with the uh, storage bag here. So last time we sent some Grenade Soap Co. products was in the DOP mission, and uh, a lot of people didn't really understand that. I mean, hygiene's a big deal when it comes to survival. I mean, we've got to keep clean. Um, it helps, you know, not only with morale and you, and you feeling better, you know, in whatever situation you're in, but it keeps you clean, keeps, you know, the bacteria down, keeps the bad, nasty stuff out of your cuts and wounds and all kind of stuff. And well, you smell better. People want to be around you a little bit more. A lot of people since then really come to realize how important those products were and, it, and how much they enjoyed using them. With this Grenade Soap Co. towel we got right here, you got this nice little bag right here, which is nice because it promotes some airflow through there to help dry, you know, your materials. You can, you know, put anything in there that's wet that you need to put away and you can still let it dry. But this towel right here is 30 inches by 50 inches, okay? A towel is often forgotten in kits. It's a way to wipe yourself down, uh, have a covering, clean things, clean yourself, dry yourself off dry off clothes, you can wrap some clothes up in there and kind of mash them down and this will help absorb moisture out of clothes. And this thing dries really, really fast. And it's large, okay? Like I said, it's 30 by 50. So this isn't just some little, you know, little, you know, face towel or anything. Now you can dry your whole body with this. I mean, this is a, this is a big freaking towel, y'all. Uh, again, you can use this as a covering if need be in a survival situation. You can use this to help keep yourself warm. You can use this to create, um, you know, a tourniquet, a hasty tourniquet if you need to, if you need to. Um, a sling, it's all sorts of things you can do with this. So it's not just a towel, it's like a bandana, right? There's hundreds of uses for a bandana. This is just a giant bandana basically that you can dry stuff with. So you can do the same stuff. You can filter with this. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. So how many times have you gone out, gone to camp, especially people that are new to it and go, crap, I didn't bring a towel. <laughs> you can have one with you all the time. Resist mildew and mold and all that stuff because of the microfiber technology. Again, great thing to have from Grenade Soap Co. The travel towel. I actually folded it up where it's gonna fit back in there. I don't know if I wanna put it back in there. I want people to see it. So I'm gonna put it right here and like this. How about that? Uh. So the third item in the basic box is a Southern Survival Glow in the Dark Reflective 550 Paracord. Cordage is a big deal. It's a big deal. I would put cordage really, really, really high on the list because you can do so much with it, okay? So this falls into, there it is, the string category, see? Right there. It's more like, it's more like right. Is it here? Where is it at? Will you be still? All right, and we're gonna put it right here. I think. I think that's where it is. Right, right. It's, it's right there. Right, there. right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're messing with me, aren't you? It's up <laughs> no. there, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I don't know where these things are going yet. Um, they might even have a mind of their own. 550 cord is probably one of the most used cordages in, in, you know, people that are down with survival and camping and things like that, because it's just useful. You can pull strands out from the inner, um, inner portion of it and you can use it for fishing string or, or whatever. This one here has seven strands. But what's really cool about this 550 cord is it is highly reflective and glow in the dark. And I say both because, I don't know if you can tell these little lines right here, these little lines in it are reflective, and then the rest of it is completely glow in the dark. So it kind of charges up by the light at nighttime. You can see it really good. So great for uh, guy lines and things like that. Marking trails, you can cut off a little piece of this, 
hang it from trees. If you kind of create yourself a breadcrumb trail, so you're coming back in the dark, you can hit it with a flashlight, you can see your way back out or your way in. It's 100 feet of it, so plenty of it. And you also have a strap here to help you keep it nice and neat like this because very few people get it back nice and neat like this when they, when they unwind it. Your paracord when you're done. So thousands of uses for paracord. It really sucks to trip over a guy line at night. So with this, you're gonna be able to see it. So lastly, in the basic box, we've got the Grenade Soap Co. Maverick Soap. So this Maverick Soap right here from Grenade Soap Co., 100% made in the USA, great soap. What better way to have an addition to that towel than some soap? And again, cleanliness is a big deal for morale, and survivability. Been sweating hot and nasty. If I have a way to clean up a little bit, it boosts my energy level almost immediately. I feel better and I'm ready to take on the next task. And, and that's true for a lot of people. And if you don't think so, then you just stink, I guess. <laughs> this is a new fra fragrance from uh, that Grenade Soap Co. has here. It's called Maverick or Mavericks. It has like a leathery smell to it. Very, a very masculine smell, leathery smell to it. Hence the leather jacket, Mavericks, get the airplane, you know, kind of, kind of fitting. You cut this thing down. That's one one thing that's cool about about a bar soap, especially if you're with a group. You can ration that thing out. Let's just say, for instance, you don't have any gun oil with you, which you probably should, and something's acting up on your gun as far as a slide or anything like that. You're having trouble getting getting the, all the way in the battery. You can take some soap and rub some soap on the slide. Uh, surfaces and it's going to help your gun run it's not going to last as long as oil is but it'll get it going right so there's plenty of uses for soap you got any other uses for soap let me know down in the comments other than washing washing your tank meat you don't want to be dropping your soap so it comes with a cable here so instead of a rope you know it's kind of a new spin on the soap on the rope there's a cable here that you can put through your soap tie so you got a way to hang this up let it dry and when your soap is done, you've got a cable that you can use for all sorts of things, right? Lanyards, you know, tying stuff off, so you can reuse that. May not be a huge value to some people. In the grand scheme of things, when you think about it, morale, cleanliness is a big deal in a survival situation. You gotta put yourself there, right? You gotta put yourself, I don't know about you, when I go to the freaking beach, I can be at the beach for 20 or 30 minutes and I'm I freaking feel like crap. I mean, the salty water, the sand, and all that stuff. Take a bath, wash yourself off, boom, you're ready to go, all right? So, I keep soap in my fishing, in my tackle box. And quickly wash yourself off, good to go. Soap's a big deal. So, we got you some soap. Smells like leather. It's freaking awesome. Your lady friend's gonna love it. Let everybody know, I get a lot of questions about my beard. It's a grenade soap coat beard, I'm just saying. They're beard oil, we got some, uh, Got some new stuff coming, I understand. Some more oil, some more balm. Just saying, I'm a Grenade Soap Co. man. You got your Gillette man and all that? <laughs> grenade Soap Co. man. Keeps your man main in your armpits and your taint smelling great. I mean, I can't smell my taint. I can't bend that way. <laughs> it's just got weird. It's just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time for the advanced box. First item in the advanced box, it's really cool. I'm going ahead and tell you, I'm not a scientist, okay? I'm gonna to try to get this right for you. It's Biofilm Defender. Water is, you know, essential, is the number, the number one thing, right? We, we don't have water, we're gonna die. That's all there is to it. And of course, we want our water to be clean and safe to use. This Biofilm Defender right here is a really cool product for long-term water storage. This stuff right here can treat 330 gallons of water. That's a lot of water and it will keep that water to where it is safe for you to ingest for up to five years. You don't have 330 gallons all at once to treat, of course, you read the directions in here and it tells you, you know, how to portion this out to use it. But I'm just gonna tell you kind of how this works. What it does is it, it's called biofilm, but it, it, it's to prevent biofilm, okay? Biofilm's the bad thing, that's what we don't want in our water. So. Uh, it, it's bacteria film that, that creates in, in water over long term and it just turns, it, it's like a slime, it's like a sludge that's in there and it freaking ruins the entire water supply. So what it does is it suspends silver and copper 
in the water system to attack and prevent biofilm for being created in your water storage. So a lot of people are storing water in different types of barrels and things like that. Some are getting water from like rainwater off of their house and filtering through into buckets and barrels and, and things and using that. And that's great if you're using it to water a garden and stuff like that. But if you're storing water for you to ingest, you need to be sure that you're keeping it clean and even filter it afterwards, right, just to be safe. But one thing we like to do here at BattleBox is use those IBC totes. They're the, the kind of whitish clear square tanks that you see that's got a cage around them. Uh, you can buy those pretty much anywhere if you look around locally. Uh, different factories, food factories, some chemical factories and places like that have those and they will sell them to you most of the time. You can get brand new ones or used ones. I would recommend getting a brand new one because you don't know what the heck was in that thing and you're going to have to clean it first, right? Unless it's from a food grade place or a place that, you know, does foods or stuff like that. You know, they can ensure that, oh, it was just green beans that was in there is okay, you know, just spray it out. Chemical plant, eh, go for the new one. We get them for just a little over 100 bucks, brand new, 330 gallons. Dump the whole thing in there, you're done. No measuring, because this does 330 gallons. That water should last you up to five years when you put it in there. Put that stuff in there, yeehaw. That's a long time. Really good stuff right here, copper and silver ions. So the next item in the advanced box is from Pure Pollination. It's heirloom seeds. There's 40 seed packets in this rascal right here. So this goes under sustenance and storage container because it's a Mylar resealable bag. So you can use this bag as a storage uh, container if need be. Our 40 seed packets in here, heirloom seeds are freaking awesome. So uh, it's been, wow, it's been many moons since we've done a seed packet. And uh, a lot of people really enjoyed it. So whether you're in an urban environment or out in a rural area, being able to grow your own food is a big deal in a survival situation. I mean, we, we've seen a little bit of it and in some places worse than others with this whole COVID thing where grocery stores are, are going bare or they were in the beginning. I mean, a lot of people were buying up stuff. Being able to grow your own food and they be heirloom so that you can harvest uh, from those foods that you're growing so you can continue to grow each year is a big deal. It, it's a skill, it's, it's something to learn. It's no different than knowing knots. It's no different than knowing self-defense. It's no different from knowing how to build a fire. Growing food is a skill. You need to add that to your you know, repertoire of survival training and you may be good at it, you may suck at it. You know, your significant other might be really good at it. So, hey, that, that's your job. You, <laughs> You're the grower, you got the green thumb. So really cool stuff in here. We've got arugula, asparagus, beans, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, sprouts, cabbage, cantaloupe, carrots, peppers, peas, okra. I love okra, fried okra, that stuff's awesome. Watermelon, turnip, I mean, beefsteak, tomato. Beefsteak, tomato, yes. Lettuces, kale, honeydew, eggplants. There's a whole freaking grocery store in here. And yeehaw, I'm gonna open this up so you can see. Freaking Colorado barking lizards are out again, man. It's been a couple months since we heard one of those. We got, there's some, uh, some radishes, pumpkin. What is that? Yolo wonder pepper. In other words, that stuff right there is liable to kill you if you eat it. It's going to be so hot because it says you only live once, Wonder Pepper. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what yellow means. Rutabaga. There's my beefsteak tomato. Beefsteak tomato. So little packets like that. There's a pile of them in here. I have a booklet. Instruction booklet. I usually throw an instruction booklets away. I would recommend you keep this one. This is very well put together. So it tells you, you know, what sort of food it is. Like here we've got a scarlet carrot. Gives you the scientific name. Says it needs to be in full sun. It's biannual, uh, what is that? Biannual, biannual? Biannual. Biannual, ooh. Uh, two times. Shows you the USDA zones, three through 11. 
regular heavy watering. I mean, it's it's the freaking road map, so you can grow yourself some dad burned carrots, right? Yeehaw. How about that? Hey, you know me. Twice a year. I know the word, but seeing it spelled out is weird. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Twice a year. So really cool booklet. I mean, it even tells you the depth, quarter inch, how far to space them apart, uh, the plant spacing, and the row spacing. So, I mean, you got a freaking just straight up out of the freaking bag garden right here. You just you just got to you just got to go go through here and figure out which ones you're gonna do at what time of year and have at it. All right, and then you've got of course your container. All right, so now this is empty. We can use it. I said it was empty. We can use it to store stuff in. It's a mylar bag. Um, Multi-purpose, right? Multi-purpose. You got to think like that. You got to learn how to improvise different things. So now it's time for the Pro Box. The Pro Box has got a really freaking sweet item in it. The solo stove light. Oh, it's so awesome. It's an amazing little stove. I, I, I don't know how to portray how freaking pumped I am that you guys are getting this thing because what's cool about it is it's simple. It's not a lot of parts you got to put. There's not a lot you got to do to get it going. And it burns really, really efficiency, efficiently. I really dig stuff that's simple and works, especially when they're small and I'm easy. it's easy for me to carry it. I like using all sorts of different things. I think they're cool or whatever, or they work great. But when they're big and heavy and they add a lot of uh, work to whatever I'm doing, it sucks. But when I find something that's freaking light and compact and does the job and does everything that I want it to do, yeehaw. So we've got the solo stove light right here. It comes in this little bag. You get you a sticker if you want to put a sticker on somewhere. Comes like that. That's it. Two parts. You got this part that nests down in there and then you got the main part. So this is completely uh, stainless steel. It's a double walled deal right here. So you see these holes here and you could probably see the interior there. There's your ash pan hanging on the inside. So it's, it brings air in here between the two walls, the inner wall and the outer wall, feeds from the bottom, and it'll come up and feed from the top here with these holes right here. And it almost turns it into a miniature rocket stove. It's, it's pretty freaking slick. So you've got these this grate in here that keeps your uh, your fuel up a little bit higher so the ash can fall down into the bottom of the ash pan there. It freaking works. You just get you some dry material, get you a little fire started in there. Once it heats up and it kind of gets that superheated gas going in there, it turns it, it, it turns into a, a freaking rocket stove like off the back of an F-16. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Take your top right here, set it right there. You can set your pots on it, boil your water so you can cook your meals or what. I mean, it's just a cool little stove and it's nice and compact. What I really like about it is it drops right into my pot in my cook kit. I think I'm gonna take the stove that I got in there now, I'm gonna swap it out with this one and try it with this one for a while and see how I like it. I love the stove I got now, but I really dig how this fits in my pot. If it does just as good as the other one, then I'm gonna be using the solar stove. So this grate right here is made out of nichrome wire. So it's somewhat flexible but it's gonna hold up to the heat and not break on you or whatever. So when I, when I was first testing it, I was wondering about that, but that right there is a very durable wire and uh, it just, it's a freaking sweet little stove. You can also use this as an alcohol stove. So if you got a little transit stove, you got one of those and you prefer using that, you just sit that transit stove down on the inside, inside here on top of the grates and you can use it as an alcohol stove as well. You don't have to use uh, wood and, and small twigs and sticks and stuff like that. And it's light, it's compact, it's durable, it's going to last a long time, and it's freaking awesome. And I like awesome. It should be called the awesome stove. Maybe the next, you know, maybe the, whatever next generation you come out, you call it the awesome stove. Have your people call my people. I don't have any people. <laughs> Just call me. <laughs> All right, so I, I keep forgetting about my little icons right here. And it, it, this, this, is, this is falling into the sustenance area, so it's somewhere on the screen right here. And technically, I guess it could go under sip because you can you know, boil water to purify it uh, and, and things like that. So we'll call it sustenance and sip. And I mean, this is like a $90 uh, item right here. I mean, they sell these for like 90 freaking bucks. So uh, really, really good value. And it's freaking sweet. You just gotta try it. I, I can sit here and tell you it's sweet all day long. 
And it is. You just got to freaking try it. So now it's time for the Pro Plus box, the knife of the month box, right? Knife of the month. No, look, I understand some people think an axe ain't a knife. Some people think a multi-tool ain't a knife. I get it. I get it. But look here. Look here. Those things have uses, right? I mean, we've got a lot of daggum messages saying, where's the knife of the month club? Y'all abandoned it. No, it's still the knife of the month club. It's the number one selling freaking box we got. We ain't going to abandon it. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't going to abandon it. So this month we got a freaking knife. It's a freaking awesome knife, okay? Multi-tools got knives in them too. I'm just saying. You can cut things with an axe. I'm just saying. Everything that's going to be in the Pro Plus box is going to cut something, right? Sharp Edge. That's the logo right there. Over here. Hell, I don't know where it's at. I'm just saying. The Pro Plus box ain't going nowhere. Knife of the Month ain't going to go nowhere. We got to switch it up a little bit every now and then for y'all. But we've got a freaking awesome knife this month in the box, okay? I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Blade Runner Systems, but uh, them cats build some high-end nice freaking knives. So they, they started a new company, and they called it Revo Knives. Don't get it confused with Revolt, completely different company. This is Revo Knives. This is the Revo Ness Carbon Fiber first release, okay, right here. So it's got the stone wash finish and the black carbon fiber, yeehaw. You ready for this? Ooh, stickers. <laughs> we got some stickers. We got more stickers. I'll put them right here with the, Revo, with the Solo Stove sticker. Revo Ness CF carbon fiber. Only available right now through us here at BattleBox. Look at that bad boy right there. Can you get a close up on that? That's some gun right there. It's sexy. You hear me? We're bringing sexy back to Knife of the Month Club with the Revo Ness carbon fiber. It's so freaking sexy. So as you can obviously see, we've got carbon fiber scales here. Freaking nice. We've got, it's a flipper. You see the little flipper right there hiding. I'll show you that there in a minute. We've got ourselves a lanyard hole. We're gonna turn this thing around. We got ourselves a nice pocket clip right there. And let me show you the bottom here. So instead of a a spacer, a liner here. So we got a double barrel knife right here. <laughs> we got we got two red barrels right there. It's freaking sweet. So we got a D2 blade and a flipper. And it's so sexy. It's kind of a uh, Nesmic style look to it there. Um, really nice blade. This is a great all around blade right here. It's got a nice swept belly to it. It'd be great for, of course, normal EDC tasks things like that, but if you really need to get down and get gritty with this thing, it's a great skinning knife. It's a great slashing knife. It pretty much will do anything that you need it to do and look cool while doing it. Thing is road ready right there. Fits really good in the hand. The feel of this is very, very similar to the Brazza to me. Uh, the way it fits in my hand, it might be the Brazza's killer. It, it might be a Brazza killer. I don't know. I don't know. But it is a liner lock. You can see here. Slide that over. Flipper. The, the red anodized barrels right there. Give it a little punch, but not too much. I think it's very subtle, but it's there, and it, and it, and it really kind of makes the knife look very premium. BRS, I mean, they're a premium knife company. I mean, they, they, they make premium, expensive knives, and they've done a really good job with this brand that they have right here. I mean, this thing's pretty much flawless. 3.3 inch blade, pocket clip is stainless steel, stainless steel liners in here uh, as well. So you got stainless steel liners, anodized barrels, stainless steel clip, carbon fiber scales, in a D2 blade that's it's not full Nesmic, but it's got that it's, it's got a it's got a Nesmic kind of look to it the way it's, that drop is in the belly in the belly there. Look at that. That thing right there is the bee's knees. Little hair is popping off right there. Yeah. Ugh. I need a sensor of that. So that is your knife of the month right there, your Pro Plus item, the Revo Ness Carbon Fiber, first release, only available right now through BattleBox.com in the Pro Plus box, Mission 67, yeehaw. And this bad boy right here's value is $110. It's a $110 knife right there. 
that's a fine $110 knife right there. I wouldn't think that'd be under a $140 knife right there for what it, what it feels like and from who it's made by. So $110, that's a freaking awesome knife. So one thing I want to clarify about the, about the uh, Revo Ness. So if you're a Pro Plus subscriber and you get your box and you open it up and you got a white box instead of this box, don't freak out. It's the same knife. <laughs> okay. So those guys uh, ran out of these boxes and they didn't have enough time to get more of these boxes. So they had to do a different box. But it's the same content, same knife, same sticker, you know, yada, yada, yada. So don't, don't be upset if you don't see that nice gray box right there. If it's a white box. They, they ran out of boxes. All right, folks, so that's Mission 67. Really cool uh, mission this month, and it, and it covers a lot of things, and, and, and that's our goal, really. I know a lot of people enjoyed the themes of the past, and, and we did, too. This has given us a little bit of, uh, of, a, of a way to where we can kind of hit things that we think are cool and don't have to wait to put it in a, like, this to go just specifically in only a cooking theme box where everything's cooking themed. This, this is a way that we can kind of tap into each thing, especially now that we're introducing the 13 survival keys that we have here in the, in the booklet now, or the mission brief, I should call it now. Really well-rounded box. So you've got your battle tack holster right here, which is really cool. You can mount under a desk, behind a headboard, pretty much wherever you want. We'll accommodate, you know, full frame, semi-autos like this, even revolvers, wallets, cell phones, knives, flashlights, whatever you want to conceal in an area underneath something, that right there is really cool. You're gonna enjoy that. The, uh, we got some Grenade Soap Co. products here. We've got the soap, which is a really good item to have. Whether you believe it or not, wait till you freaking smell it. I'm just saying, wait till you smell it. Wait till your significant other smells it, yeehaw. And you can report back about how freaking awesome it is. That right there is some awesome soap, I'm telling you. I may be biased, but it's the best freaking soap there is out there. Grenade soap, I'm telling you. Grenadesoapco.com. We've got the, um, the towel here, 30 by 50. Huge freaking towel. You can use it for a covering. Obviously use it for all the things that a towel could be used for. It works especially well when drying clothes. You can roll some clothes up in there and kind of you know, squeeze down on the clothes and it draws that moisture out of your clothes. So a great thing to have if you're ever around water. It's like a bandana. You can use it for a lot of things, right? So we've also got the Southern Survival 100 foot of glow in the dark and reflective 550 paracord. 100 foot, that goes a long way. Great stuff, just like a bandana. Cordage can be used in a number of different things. So that is some really good cordage you got right there. 330 gallons of water. You can treat for up to five freaking years with this biofilm right here. Awesome. Like I said, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> it keeps the crap out of your drinking water, all right? Using copper and silver ion technology. The solo stove, I'm telling you, once you fire it up and use it, you're going to fall in love with it. You're going to add that to your, your small camp kits like I am. Awesome product right here. It's going to last a long time. I mean, this, this, this is something that you could hand down, you know, to, to your kids. You can use alcohol transient stove on the inside or natural materials to boil your water, make your coffee, cook your foods, and all that good stuff. And it nests down in there and fits in pretty much most normal size pots that we would use for a small camp cook kit right there. The seeds, pure pollination, 40 seed packets, and an awesome booklet right here. I mean, it's basically a roadmap on how to use each one of these packets, when, where, how much water, how much sun, how deep, how far road spacing needs to be, the whole nine's in that booklet. Heirloom seeds, y'all, great, Freaking product right there. And then, of course, we got the Revo Ness carbon fiber. If you are a fan of the Brazza, you're gonna love that knife. I love the Brazza, I love it, but that might be the Brazza killer. I'm just saying, awesome, awesome knife. D2 steel, kind of a Nesmic style blade, carbon fiber scales, stainless steel liner, stainless steel clip, very smooth, really, really, really nice, premium free feeling knife with a $110 value. Easily could be a $140 knife. 
all day long. So awesome, awesome knife right there. On the back of the mission brief, we want you to share using this stuff, okay? So on the back right here, it says hashtag battle box. So tag us, be it Facebook, Instagram, etc. Hashtag battle box, a photo using the paracord or the stove or planting your seeds or using this holter, holster, mounting this holster, tag us in it, share it on your social media platforms, and you could be selected to pick from our t-shirt lines, battle box t-shirts, Southern Survival t-shirts, anything like that. Just post it up and uh, see if you win. If you want to buy any of this stuff, you can just scan right there. It'll take you directly to the website where you can check out our merchandise as far as hats and shirts and things like that. No naked pictures of you using the soap. Maybe a picture of you sniffing it or something like that. Yeah, somebody's gonna do it now, <laughs> like 100%. So these new icons that you're seeing up in the video that are correlating to the product, if you wanna read about that, you can scan this right here to take you to the website and it'll show you the article about the Survival 13. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Please be sure to like and comment down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we post videos. Check us out at battlebox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can see everything that we've done from Mission 67 on back to number one in the What's in the Box tab on the website. See you next month with 68, 68 months of the number one subscription service on the planet. Yeehaw. I'm going to go put this in my camp cook kit. That's some high quality H2O. <laughs>